This is the KUSI News at 5. Welcome back to the KUSI News at 5. I'm Alan Dutton. I'm Sandra Moss. Thank you for joining us. Well, the immigration issue is rising to the top once again, not necessarily in the presidential race, but among our border patrol. There's a new concern that terrorists from ISIS could be sneaking into the U.S., and they're abusing the humanitarian crisis in Syria to get here. KUSI's Dan Plant has been covering a series of reports on the crisis at the border and has tonight's special report. Dan? Yeah, good evening. This is one of those situations where the U.S. is trying its best to be compassionate and to help people around the world, but now there's a fear that this could backfire. As you know, thousands of Syrians have been slaughtered by the evil ISIS. Many more thousands are leaving that country trying to survive. Well, countries around the world, they're helping as much as they can, including the United States. But among those who are truly victims, there could be big trouble, and we might not know it until it's too late. Check it out. All the cameras. If you take a trip along the San Diego-Mexico border, on the surface, you won't notice anything different. But there is. It's the changing face of immigration. Well, right now, we're seeing a large influx of Syrian refugees seeking asylum. Not long ago, the biggest issue on the border was smuggling humans and drugs from Mexico. While that is still a major problem, those who work along the border have a new concern, the possibility of terrorists hiding among the legitimate refugees from Syria. The issue here is that we have no way to properly vet them. There's no databases here in the United States we can vet them against, and there are certainly no reliable databases overseas that we can vet them against. While the Border Patrol has a duty to uphold the law, some of the agents feel like they're alone in their efforts. They feel overwhelmed and feel like there's no help from above. It's happening because we have, um, we have an administration that simply wants to let nar large numbers in. Um, whether they feel that they're being humanitarian or whether there's some larger political goal, it's, it's because the administration wants it to happen. In fact, it was an executive order from the president that opened the doors, a humanitarian gesture to save thousands of innocent people from ISIS. The whole situation in the immigration world changed when Secretary of State paid a visit to Syria about eight months ago. He saw with his own eyes what was happening there, what he called genocide. At that moment, our policy changed. And since then, the number of Syrian refugees that have come to the United States has increased almost 600 hundred percent. According to the latest numbers, just under 13,000 Syrian refugees have come here since the beginning of the year. The situation in Syria, it's tragic. It really is. And you have to feel for people that are in that situation. But, you know, our obligation here in the United States is to protect Americans. And while 99% of those Syrians are Muslim, the Border Patrol doesn't care. A bad guy is a bad guy and the terrorists are determined. Certainly there's a large number of people who, who are legitimately fleeing oppression and uh, genocide, but ISIS has already told us that they want to infiltrate these ranks. And we've seen it happen in Europe. They've already proven they can do it. Like everyone, they have compassion for the victims of the evil ISIS, but the system is overwhelmed already and processing people from Syria is a different thing. If they're a threat to the United States, we have no way of tracking them. We have no way of knowing what they're doing or where they are. Uh, we don't mean to scare people too much here, but this is happening out there. Again, 13,000 refugees from Syria have come here just since January when the policy changed. Everybody out there obviously has compassion for these people. We've seen the pictures of what's happening in Syria with the ISIS just murdering innocent people everywhere. Most of them, their fellow Muslims, a small percentage of them, are Christians. But this is a big concern, and once again, the Border Patrol says that the number of Border Patrol agents that they have is still 2,000 less than has already been approved by Congress. For some reason, the Border Patrol is not getting the support and the help they need from this administration, and they feel frustrated. And this is another layer of Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. danger, I guess you could say. You know, I mean, think about this. We all want these folks to be safe. We all right. want them to find safe places to live away from ISIS. But then when they come in here, and as he said, ISIS has already said, mm -hmm. they're going to find a way to infiltrate these actual mm -hmm. immigrants. 
and find a way to do harm to the United States. The and it's a frightening thing. San Diego, San Diego. How right difficult there. was it to get that agent to talk on camera? I would imagine his superiors uh, probably aren't too happy about that. I would imagine there are some people sitting around right now throwing things at the television. <laughs> uh, and the reason is he can speak freely, openly, and honestly because he is the head of the Border Patrol Union here. Uh -huh. the Border Patrol Council. And as the head of the board, Vice President of Border Patrol Council, he speaks for the agents, not the agency. And that, you know, we did the story mm -hmm. with another gentleman, uh, Chris Harris, who also spoke his mind freely. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of, they were throwing a lot of things at televisions at that time as right. well. But in order to get what we consider the truth, we have to go to these guys who have been on the front lines and they have the ability to not be political, mm -hmm. to not have layers of political correctness. Mm -hmm. They speak and they tell me what they see mm -hmm. and their biggest concerns. Wow. And they're concerned for their families, yeah. Yeah. just well, like all of us. Well, you know, it all comes down to uh, the ability to vet these people properly. Homeland Security has already said, we can't do it. And some other government agencies, we can't guarantee 100%. That's exactly right. And his statement to me on that note, why don't we just slow down a little bit? Yeah. Why don't we just chill out? back off on this and when we can properly vet these people and make sure that they truly are victims yeah. then let them in right by all means exactly but until you can find out who these people are who knows right hmm. very interesting right. Dan thank yeah. you thanks